How's it going, Hot Wheels fans? We, today I'm here at the my newly built tables. Made those at work. In the Hot Wheels highway that's in progress. Today we're gonna be looking at my backpack full of Hot Wheels. Got a matchbox in there, got some three packs. Got some uh, road tape. And then the rest are singles. Got some new loose cars here too. I'm gonna be going through them all today, showing them off, opening up some of these three packs probably. And uh, that's pretty much it. Probably open up this matchbox here. Start it off, we're gonna go with this. Uh, the bat. I got this one. I, I knew it was open from the beginning. I, I just saw it and uh, didn't even know this existed. Decided I was gonna pick that up. It'd be pretty cool. I got some uh, airplanes and helicopters up here hanging from the clothing rack. Probably hang that up there. Got another Porsche to add to my collection. I never have too many of those. Ferrari 599XX. It's the first time I've ever seen one of those. Pretty cool car. Uh, I don't have too many Ferraris, so it's always cool to find new ones on the card. Got some Hot Wheels designs. Got Shark Bite right here with the moving mouth. Now I don't know if that moves when you roll it or, or what. I'm not sure, I've never opened one of these before, but. Maybe once I find another one in black, we'll find out. Open it up, see how it goes. We got the Street Creeper. This is a pretty cool looking one. I've seen it around before, but never uh, never thought about buying it because there's always other stuff I wanted. But this guy was pretty cool. I like the colors, the wheels. This is a nice looking one. Got that one from Safeway. Uh, this matchbox right here. I've always loved the Expedition. It's a pretty cool looking car. Unreliable, in my opinion, but I found it in the Matchbox section, so I figured I'd pick it up. Definitely gonna be opening that one up today. All right, we got this Trike motorcycle, which is pretty cool. I might open that one up, I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever seen one like this before, so we'll probably keep it in the package for now. Not really into the newer stuff as much as the 90s and late 80s. It's mostly what I have already. I've got this uh, dresser full of all kinds of stuff. That's mostly newer stuff, but I've also got this Rubbermaid tub right here full of uh, blue cards and uh, ignore all the soda bottles. It's kind of a mess in here. Had to rearrange everything. Uh, my old display was on this little stainless steel sheet and some perforated. 430 stainless steel. Got one of those some tape road on there from Hot Wheels. I decided to upgrade though and stayed a little bit late the other day after work and made these tables. Uh, one of my coworkers helped, uh, he bent it. Got about an inch lip with a hemmed edge on the ender side. And then got these fancy little uh, legs. It was a lot more creative than I was. I was thinking just bend it all the way back these are two piece so the uh, this piece right here actually slides in to the corners that's pretty cool a lot more creative than i ever was planning on getting with it but very grateful it turned out awesome uh this will definitely get bigger probably have two more stories to it about six inches off of each other just to add on to the highway got it. Dodge is over there because Dodge is the Mopar or no car. I guess that's the best way to explain how much I love Dodge. Got a custom right there. All I really did was take it apart and put new wheels well on it, but got another custom COE big rig right there. Chrome gold Chrysler 300. Alright, back to the new stuff. I uh, got this uh, 
dune buggy right here, power sander. Runs pretty cool. Never seen this little guy before either. I only recently got into, you know, collecting these things religiously. So it's probably been a year since I started actually going out of my way to find them and buy them. So I don't know too much about the history on them. Uh, I've always kind of collected them since I was a kid. You know, they're, they're great cars, but I got the Studebaker Champ. I don't know if this was a mainline car, if it was a premium vehicle, I'm not sure. It's got a lot of detail on it, more so than a lot of the other mainline cars. So I don't know. If any of you guys know, let me know. Post it in the comment section. That's pretty cool. I got two of these, one in blue and one in yellow. I don't know which one I like more. I think the yellow, probably. But hopefully I can find some more of those because I definitely want to open one of those up and have it on display as a loose vehicle. And we got, uh, got a FJ Cruiser, or Lane Cruiser, FJ40. That one's pretty cool. I thought that was a Jeep when I first picked it up. I didn't, I didn't look at the side or anything to the name of it. It just really looked like a, an old Jeep to me. So I thought that was cool. Got all my four-wheel drive trucks and lifted cars and whatnot in there. An old Ferrari that's been crushed. A little sand dune area for rock crawling and whatnot. Made that at work too. And then uh, we got this Plymouth Cuda. The Falcon Tires racing livery. That was pretty cool. I like that a lot. I've got a couple Porsches that are actually in that same livery. And uh, I'm always down to collect those. It's definitely a pretty paint style. And then I've been looking for these guys since they first came out. I didn't even know they existed until uh, a couple months ago, this series. But the Dodge Viper is uh, one of my favorite cars in history. I saw this and I had to get it. I didn't realize that the top was all scratched up. But it's whatever. No matter. We got the first gen Viper as well. The RT10. And then the fourth gen? Third gen? I think the fourth gen. But either way. It's a Viper, it doesn't matter what year it is, it's beautiful either way. We got a uh, 1970 Dodge Charger RT. It's my dad's dream car, so I always collect these. At some point I'll find duplicates and send them his way. I got this one. I, when I saw this, I was, just, I was stoked right away just to find the card, you know? Because I thought it was a classic. I didn't really think about looking to see if it was new or old. When I got home, I realized that it was uh, 2010, but still a cool car. I still like the card a lot. I'll put this one up on display, even though it's not a real classic. But the Hot Ones series is definitely something that I love to. I would love to find all of them. And we got Voltage Spike, just some kind of Hot Wheels design race car. Formula One style or rally style, something like that. And the Sky Dome car is pretty freaking cool. You see through the whole roof, up to the hood. The wheels are nice, the paint's nice. This looks like it could be a real car. I don't know if it is or not, I haven't looked it up, but it's probably not. It looks more like a Hot Wheels design to me. We got, oh, there's a matchbox falling onto the wheels that I have under there. We got Rockster and the Easter paint job. I just thought that one was cool. I have a bunch of the holiday racers in this dresser right here. Some of them from early 2000s. I got some uh, Formula Racer or Head Starter. This one is pretty cool. Looks like the same guy that's in the bobblehead version of the Bone Shaker. Same person that's in there, but. I've seen those one around a lot. They're not rare, they're not hard to find. They're extremely common, but I, I figured I might as well pick one up since I haven't already. And then I found two of these. The Cornet Super B and the Hot Wheels Flames. 
I like the Hot Wheels Flame series a lot. Reminds me of when I was a kid playing Need for Speed. Put flames on all the cars. We got another one of these uh, new 50th anniversary series Corvette. C5 is my favorite Corvette. I don't know, I like it. That's the prettiest one I ever saw, you know. Pop-up headlights. Back end of it looks really good. I like the Targa version. I don't really like the coupe. I don't like the back end of it. It's got a different roof line and trunk line. But then we got this uh, police Corvette. I saw another one of these, which I, I'm going to go back next weekend to the flea market and pick that up so I can have one loose and one on display. Um, all right, now we're going to go to loose cars. This guy is, uh, he's pretty new to me. It's an old one, but the paint's in really good shape. It's in great shape, actually. It's not chipped up. Or there might be a few small chips on it somewhere, but... The chrome body is all faded and corroded and stuff. And I'll probably find a way to clean that up and make it look nice again at some point. I don't know how I'm gonna go about that because the clip that's on the back is doesn't seem like something I can break off or take apart without destroying it. We'll, we'll see. Maybe I'll just buy a new one and have one that's all shiny and one that's not. We got an old Corvette Stingray. It's a pretty nice one. It's a newer car. You can tell by the wheels. Got an old Grand National. It's newer as well. Plastic body, or plastic base, I mean. This one right here is one of my favorites that I picked up this weekend. The Viper ACR. Beautiful car. I only have a few loose Vipers, and this is definitely the best looking one I have of them all with the Speed Hunters decals on them. This thing is beautiful. It's definitely going to go on the Hot Wheels Highway. Might get chased by the pace car, who knows. Or safety car, as that one's called. I think it's safety, yeah, safety car. Alright. We got this Mustang, which I don't have this with this wheel variation or paint job yet. I have a few of them that are the same body style, but nothing with that paint job base or wheels like i said we got this ferrari 512 not 512 uh f12 berlinetta that one's a pretty cool one like i said i'm always happy to add to the ferrari collection so we got two right here it's too bad that one's not red but you can never go wrong with yellow either so we got this lamborghini sedan i don't know what it's called a stoke we're getting a stoke. And then the new Urus, I think is what this one's called. Yeah. SUV that they made. That one's pretty cool. It looks better in the Hot Wheels form than it does in real life, but that's all right. I'm not in the market to be buying one, so. This guy's a little dirty. Uh, Alfa Romeo 8C. I don't know what's on it. I'll probably take the time to clean that up another day. <clears throat> this one might even be a custom at some point. I might take the wheels out, put some new ones on there, because I don't really like those wheels. Plus, they're all faded and whatnot. Take it out, repaint it a new color. Who knows? We got this, which I've been trying to find one of these for a long time. The Porsche Panamera is one of my favorite sedans ever beautiful car this one looks like it's supposed to be the turbo s model it's got the wing and the body kit for it i really like the blue windows too makes it look even better especially with that white paint this guy's brand new i just picked this one up like two weeks ago i got a couple of them on the card on this one and the card was all messed up and bent so i decided to open it up one of my favorite Hot Wheels that they've made recently. Station wagons are some of my favorite cars ever. And that one's absolutely beautiful. We got this yellow RX-7, first generation. Beautiful car. I have one in blue too. Uh, I have a couple of them in blue actually. 
And then we got this Dodson. I think I have another one right here, actually. Yeah. Got a white one over here drifting with the other cars. A little Mazda pickup right there. I don't know what I'm going to use this tape for yet. This doesn't look like it's actually going to fit one single car on it. So it looks more like ma uh, micro machine tape to me. I have a few of those up there. So I might use them for that. Who knows? I'm trying to get into collecting those too because they're pretty cool. Oh, I've lost a lot of the ones that I had when I was a kid. But slowly try to gain them back. Right, now we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up. Right, probably mixing them with the Hot Wheels. Nobody I know is uh, gonna point it out and be like, hey, that's not a Hot Wheels car, so. Try to trick people into thinking that they made one of these. It's a pretty nice car, feels nice. It's kind of heavy for having a plastic base. That's a nice one. I don't know, I might make this one a custom at some point too, just to take the paint off of it. I think I'd rather have a different color and just have it be one plain color. But I don't know yet, that'll probably be a ways down the road. Maybe put some bigger wheels in it, who knows. We'll see when we get there. Goes pretty well when it's not trying to go over a copper plate. Let's see what else. What other ones did I want to open up today? This Batman. Batman's little airplane thing. I'm not gonna hang this one up on video with the others. I'll do that and then post it up in another video. Show you guys what it looks like. Yeah. Thing's pretty cool looking. Looks like a bug. That one's definitely going to get hung up with all the helicopters and airplanes. I'll just set it right there for now. Right in the middle of the car meet. There's another one I wanted to open too. I don't remember which one it was though. Oh, three packs, of course. So this one, the only reason I got this is because it has an FRS in it. And my girlfriend loves the Scion FRS, so I had to pick that up when I saw it. I'm not really a huge fan of the Riviera in this pack. I need two hands to do this. No, I got it. We're good. Making a mess. Uh, got the nice blue Scion FRS with the yellow wheels. I actually have a Mustang that has the same color color scheme. It's pretty nice. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the yellow wheels. But those can always be changed out. I probably won't take that one apart itself because it's the first one I ever found. But we got this guy right here. I don't know if this is an art car or what. I don't know, but it's got some cool looking wheels on it. Put that one over here next to the car meet. Find somewhere else to display it. We got this Buick Riviera. I think that's what it is. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's a 1964 Buick Riviera is what it looks like it says on the bottom. It's a cool car in real life, but uh, the wheels don't look good. The paint, in my opinion, I don't like it too much in the Hot Wheels form. But this is the one I'm excited for. I feel bad for opening this up because the box is so nice, but I really want that police Panamera out. I don't have many police cars. And I think they look good going down the Hot Wheels Highway. Waiting for people to pull them over. 
Got a little junkyard over here. Old beat up cars. Cars that I'm gonna make customs out of. Some cars that are beat up but still usable. Put them off to the side like they're for sale. Along this little short stretch of highway. And we got the sand dunes again. Still have to fill up that parking lot full of cars. I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet, but we'll find something. It's having a real hard time getting those up. Alright. Then we got this Lancia Stratos. Beautiful car in real life. It's not too bad on Hot Wheels either. It's kind of small. It's small in real life too, so they kind of got that right. This guy right here. Beautiful car. Wheels will look a little small. Panamera S Turbo. This one's an S Turbo as well. Doesn't look like it has much detail though. The headlights aren't painted on. Windows are dark. This one has the front windows down. If the camera will focus. They're not even there. So it looks like the windows are down. It's pretty cool. I definitely like those wheels better on this car than the wheels that are on this one, but it's all right, it's a police car. It's a form, it's a function over form kind of car, so that's what matters. And we got this guy right here. This is a pretty cool looking one. Hot Wheels design. This one will probably go out on a racetrack once I get it all set up. Camera's just not wanting to cooperate with me right now will not focus. It's kind of got the same paint as this Lancia right here though. The matte gray, the red and yellow. It's pretty nice. Same yellow wheels. But yeah, that's, uh, that's everything for today. I'll definitely be back showing the progression on the Hot Wheels table and the room itself. And we'll go over everything else I have sitting in here at some point. Got a lot of good stuff in here, in my opinion. It's kind of a mess right now, so it'll be cleaned up before I go through everything. But until next time, have a nice week, and happy hunting.